Hi there, this is Marty from OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. Thanks for stopping by today as we take a look at these M. Graham uh, Landscape Watercolor Paints. This is a five color set uh, made by M. Graham, which is a U.S. manufacturer. Um, they make these paints in Oregon, uh, Beaverton exactly, uh, to be more precise. And this is the five color landscape uh, set that comes with a cerulean blue, a sap green, for foliage, a burnt umber, uh, a diazinin purple, and then a yellow ochre, which are really good colors uh, for a landscape set. Um, one of the things about M. Graham paints that uh, sets it apart, um, I guess from other, other water, watercolors, is that it's made of a natural blackberry honey, and so um, that's the, the binding medium, and then it's got a pure uh, gum arabic. Um, which gives it its, its strength. And, and the pigments are just really, uh, really strong. And I've heard other artists, although I don't have a long history with M. Grahams, just uh, use them in the occasional, by the occasional tube and mix them in with my other watercolors, my Daniel Smiths and my Schmenka and uh, Sennelier's. But I'll tell you this, um, these watercolors stay uh, moist or juicy uh, in the palette for a long time. So if you squeeze them into a half pan and you expect it to harden like other paints, other watercolor paints will do, it'll take a long time for that to happen. They, you can reactivate them anytime, just spray them with a little water, dip a little water in there, but uh, they don't harden as quickly as the other ones do. And I think it's because, uh, well, they say that the honey absorbs the moisture from the air so it doesn't get as hard as quickly on the palette. So today I'll use these uh, five colors, just testing them out here. And you can see um, there's some good vibrancy with these paints, uh, really good. And there's artists that just swear by these paints. Um, I went to a, uh, a workshop um, yesterday with an artist from the University of Minnesota. Um, she's a professor there. She teaches watercolor and art. And these are the paints that she uses because she loves how they stay juicy on the palette, the richness uh, of the pigments, and just uh, the great color you can get from these paints. So I thought I'd give them a try myself. And as you can see here, that they, they are. They're really good. And especially this landscape palette. I mean, this is these are just great colors for, for doing landscapes and, um, you know, getting the, the bright colors out of there. And mixing these is, is, is awesome as well. Um, to just get different values and um, colors that you might not ordinarily uh, use in your normal palette. And for those of you that are curious, I'm using a Niji uh, water brush. It's N-I-J-I, -I, and that water brush allows you to fill the reservoir with water, and it's really portable. I'll take it with me everywhere. I'll throw a link up to a review I did on those as well just a, just a little while ago. Um, so that just makes it handy to, to travel around or put it in your uh, sketch kit. It's really nice. So this is just one of the sets that M. Graham makes. Uh, they make some other sets as well. Plus, I think there's about 70 or so paints, uh, watercolor colors in the line. Um, and if you go to the mgram.com website, you can get to their color chart from there, and you can see all that for yourself. But on the bottom line is uh, they've been making paints for a little over 20 years now. They were started by a couple of artists who wanted to... Uh, you know, better paints or whatever, and they've kind of, you know, really taken off as sort of the artist's choice, at least in America, artist's choice for, for good, solid watercolor paints that will stay sort of juicy on the palette, as I mentioned before. And you can, um, you know, you can use a lot of different kind of watercolor paints, and for whatever reason, you find one you like and you stick with it, um, you know, but I suggest going outside your comfort zone once in a while and trying some new different paints. I mean, in the scheme, grand scheme of things, in the old European tradition, um, M. Graham is just an infant in the paint business. But sometimes uh, new companies find a way to do things or make things better and innovate in a different way and, um, and really uh, change or shift the whole paradigm um, in whatever world they, they're in. And this, in this one, I think that's what you see with M. Graham paints. Um, I love using them. Uh, they're good paints, as I say, really solid color-wise. And I think most importantly, and one of the great properties of these paints is just that they, 
they stay so uh, moist on the palate and um, you know just that honey mixed into the paint adds a certain luminosity and, and vibrancy to it like a like the Sennelier paints which are made with honey as well they have that sort of property so you, you get to notice this over time the subtle differences between different kinds of paints but uh, I really like these and yeah, I'd recommend giving them a try. Um, here you can see I painted these different spheres with these. Not really uh, a landscape per se, but I just wanted to get an idea of how they played uh, out on the paper in different measure and uh, values. So yeah, that's been a look at the M. Graham uh, landscape watercolor set by M. Graham uh, made in Oregon um, in Beaverton. Uh, so if you like made in the USA stuff, this is a, this is a good one. M. Graham and Company. Go check them out at mgram.com. So, uh, and if you haven't had a chance, leave a comment or a question. I always like to respond to people who check out the videos. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Well, thanks a lot for stopping by today. This has been Marty for owingsart.com. Have a great day, everybody. So long.